Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday. It is time for Tip Tuesday. And today's tip is actually, in my mind, we're going to be doing a swap card showcase. So there's going to be a lot of creativity that is shared with you. And while I am giving um, you guys all this candy for your eyes, I'm going to be asking you to maybe shout out a tip that you have <laughs> that's crafting related that you might want to share with others to help make it feel like it's really Tip Tuesday. But my head in my what I had in my head today was that we we're going to do the swap card showcase. So I got to make sure that all's good. I am a few minutes tardy. <laughs> do you know why? <laughs> Not because I overslept, but I actually here we are. My Wonderful. Going to be so. A lot I um, had my gas meter guy show up this morning. Hi, Karen. Hi, Ethel. And um, the gas meter needed to get changed out. They're going around the whole city and changing out gas meters. And uh, apparently the last thing he said to me is, well, you should be set in for 20 years. So we'll see you in 20 years. I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> 20 years is so far away. But yes, got a new gas meter this morning, you guys. So that's awesome. All right. So we're going to be going over swap cards in just a second. Um, but I'm going to see if I get my light. It looks like there's an excess amount of light going on. Hi, Susan. Hi, Ann Bellinger. I don't know what is doing it, but I have fogginess back there. So you guys, I'm feeling much, much better. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> Tyler teased me, you guys, you will get a little chuckle out of this. I think it was really funny when he told me it. So, you know, I woke up on Thursday morning. Hi, Randy Schultz. I woke up. I was great. You know, going into Thursday morning, I woke up. Hi, Millie Kindle. Hi, Cindy. I woke up on Thursday morning and my nose was clogged, right? And I like started to have like head stuff going on. <laughs> and I dealt with it for like through two days, three days. You know, you take the Sudafed, you take the Mucinix, you do all that kind of stuff and you get the head cleared up. <laughs> so on Sunday though, I was finally starting to feel like, oh, I can start to breathe through my nose again. And Tyler made a joke. He's like, you probably had a stamp stuck up there. <laughs> like, like, you know, like when you have your kids, your grandkids, and they stick your M&Ms up the nose and they stick little things up their nose. <laughs> Hi, Franz. He teased me. He's like, you had a stamp stuck up your nose. I know it. You don't have to pretend that you weren't playing with your stamps and putting your putting them up your nose. I'm like, oh, Tyler, you're so funny. He just made me chuckle. So it was it was funny. So, but yes, finally, finally, it's all good. Like, I, I, you know what? And I was talking with Bonnie about it last night. I wear myself out, you guys. If you know me, <laughs> hi Mary Ellen, hi Gwen. I am an energizer bunny. Uh, hi, thanks for sharing, Sherry. Um, I will go and I will go and I will go and I will go and I will keep going until my body tells me you've done too much. And that is exactly what happened to me. And I'm so happy. Normally, I crash after a big event. <laughs> and what happened is um, it happened before the big event. So wow, to the point where I said, I better be feeling better. And I am. It's so we're going into this week and it's going to be great um, for the summer creative escape. So you guys, in addition to my normal schedule, right, which you guys already know is super beyond crazy. In addition to that normal schedule, I have two demo demonstrator or discount shopper events a year, right? And they keep growing. The first year was 48 and then it went to 60 and then it went to 72. And now this one is 88. So I must be doing something right. But <laughs> what it's doing is it's, uh, I don't like take that week and a half off or two weeks off before the event just to work on the event. I slide this event in, in the middle of everything. <laughs> and so it was, um, a little bit of 6 AMers and working a lot and it, hi, Cindy Miller from Ohio. Um, so it was a lot leading up to this past week and, Oh, that's what happens to your body. So yes, hi, um, everybody. So that's what's going on, feeling better. So um, I know when I did the class on Saturday, I might've sounded a little <laughs> rough yet, but um, it was good. We got through it. I had no idea when I would do another makeup. So we pushed through with that one. And today we have the holiday mini catalog swap card showcase. I have maybe, let's say a hundred cards. I'm going to rock and roll through you. But before I do that, I want to have a couple announcements. I also have some happy mail. Um, so because this week is going to happen and it's going to go by so fast, I am preemptively telling you guys, hi, Philly, hi, Judy, preemptively telling you that I might not be as responsive as I try to be. 
uh, with emails or messages. Um, hi, Sherry Pyre. Um, so if you do reach out to get a class or to reach out to ask questions, just know that I have about 12 to 13 people here each day that need my full undivided attention. And um, and it gets to be 9, 10 o'clock by the time we are cleaned up and then we set up for the next morning. So I thanks, Mary Ellen. Um, thanks, Randy. Uh, and so, and it's basically back at it the next morning. So I have four individual one day events on top of Facebook Lives, Hi Hildy, um, eight creative presentations that I have to make sure get aired to the Facebook group. And so it's going to be a lot. So just know that, uh, just be patient with me. Um, if you do want to get signed up for something, if you don't hear back from me, um, you don't have to necessarily forward the email to me again in the moment, um, like because I do get the emails usually. <laughs> so, um, so um, and speaking of it, hi, Deborah. Uh, speaking of it, going into this event, I believe I'm waiting for um, Diane Alberts and Stacy Burns to confirm if they want spots. If they do, I have four left. If they don't, I have six left, you guys. And what does it mean? Um, it uh, means you have to be signed up with Stampin' Up. Doesn't matter what you do with Stampin' Up. You could be a discount shopper just getting your discount. Or you could be, I should say, uh, also be uh, a demonstrator just holding classes. <laughs> like, however it is, it doesn't matter. And it's, I shouldn't say the word just because everybody matters in terms of if you're having classes or not having classes. If you're enjoying that discount or if you're rocking those classes, you are welcome to attend um, the Summer Creative Escape. And I'm going to show you guys really quick off just to see if I, because um, I, I know I'll fill these last spots, but I'd rather fill them before the escape starts. <laughs> the escape starts. Before the escape, escape starts um, versus after. So what I'm going to do is show you guys, and I did this last time too, and I think when I showed off the bag last time, hi, Sandy Wicklander, um, it really like, put people over like, oh yeah? Well, I didn't do a bag this time, you guys. I did something different because... The feedback that I've been getting from people is, we've got so many bags. We don't need more bags. <laughs> so um, so this is not a bag, you guys. I'm going to flip the camera down, and I will show you what the main attendance gift is. So basically, registration is a certain amount, and how I get that amount is by adding in all the things that I want to do for this event to make it the experience of a lifetime for you. It might not be of your lifetime, but to make it feel like in the moment it is the greatest thing you've done. So, so I build, so the, so the cost is $125. If you're on my team, I give a five, a $10 discount, making it $115. And then basically of that money, you get a goodie bag, you get all these make and takes, you get um, the creative presentations, you get displays, you get goody stuff like attendance gifts, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So you guys are probably the first to see this. It is, uh, so I had Kelly help me get the Stampin' Up! logo and we put it on this little item, this little unit right here. If you haven't guessed, it's really a soft uh, blanket and it's like a picnic time blanket. So when you open this up, there's this Velcro. Uh, so this is a little spoiler or teaser alert for those that are signed up, okay? <laughs> Not to ruin your surprise. But when you open it up on one side, there is this um, anti-reflective type foil. It's not foil. It's just like this plasticky feeling to it. And I guess two things with the blanket that I can see, you know, you have a picnic. It doesn't help. Um, the grass doesn't stick on this side. Hi, Cheryl. The grass doesn't stick on this side, which is awesome. And so you could use it for picnic time. But the other thing, us gals and guys living in the cooler climates in the winter time, this is something you could leave in your car. I shouldn't even say the winter time. I meant more in the summer too, where you go get groceries and they're cold and it's hot outside. Like I go up to Appleton to Sam's Club and I'll come back with the meats and I don't always have enough cooler bag space. And so this blanket could go over the top and would help to insulate. So super, super stoked and excited to share this blanket with everybody to get you guys in your hot little hands. Um, so that is one of the attendance gifts. And just as a reminder, the cards alone and the little 3D project are exquisite. Carissa Alberts and I spent two days designing all these um, wonderful projects for the people attending. And I'm just going to scroll through them really fast. Um, we tried to design them in a way that you don't necessarily have to have these stamps. Everything in these make and takes is coming out of the new holiday mini catalog, which is what this event is focused on. And then um, 
Let's see another one where all you need is a sentiment. I know a lot of times people like them to look exactly like the display card and this way we make it super simple. Sentiment and a little squiggly to color behind the bell. The Christmas Scotty is a punch, you just need a sentiment. Um, this one is all spruced up. You guys, a sentiment. Um, this one is that mistletoe magic. You will need something to stamp to make the mistletoe appear. Um, this one is the Regal Reindeer with our little Foxy. My mom kept calling it a little cat. She helped me. My mom helped me on Friday and Sunday. And Carol Lee Crab was here too. And she helped kit up all 10 of these projects times 88. So 880 kits got made up. Hi, Darcy Dutton. Um, so that's the fun fold with the new 12 by 12 paper. Had to show that off. Um, 880 cards got kitted up on fr between Friday and Sunday, you guys. Um, Judy Immel was in here. This is the Perched in a Tree. Judy Immel, Jill Butzine, Tammy Sokolik, Anna Rabideau. It's been a team effort, you guys. Barb Collins, I think, helped me. Well, she helped me with my swap cards. <laughs> I know everybody was coming and going this past week. And then this is the 3D project, is a picture frame. It starts off as an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And I'm gonna teach you guys um, how to do it. Michelle Heim did this as her presentation for the last one, and I absolutely loved it. So just know that I do have at this moment either four to six spots remaining, depending on uh, Stacy and Diane Alberts. Uh, Stacy Burns and Diane Alberts, you guys reach out to me if you can. Um, confirm you want a spot or you don't want a spot. I think I've, uh, Diane, I don't have your email address. And I saw in my last live that you were interested. So we need, I don't know if I have your email address. So I'm trying to, I'll probably have to reach out to both of you guys, <laughs> Facebook Messenger. But um, notice back there, pumpkins are still left as well. Um, okay. I did something different too for the upcoming class that I have, which um, is next week, the Texture Chic um, Memories and uh, Texture Chic Sweet Card class, you guys. I'm gonna flip the camera down. Hi, Tammy. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, let's see here. The cards are, let me grab the cards. Hang on, let me flip down and um, grab the cards. I'm doing my showcase. That's okay, you go ahead. Yeah, um, did I need to ask? Uh, I was gonna see what we were, how I had for you. Huh? Trying to remember what it was. Oh, I did have something, but how did the rest of it go? Oh, good. Everything's good. Good. Okay, good. All right, you guys. This is coming up next, not next week, but the following week, the 25th, okay? And the this is what I'm referring to as the Texture Chic card class. It's not the Memories and More that I just did on Saturday. That was supposed to be last week. These are the cards. There's four different cards, very li little stamping that you actually need. And the reason that I'm showing this off first is because I'm hoping to catch people today. Um, it has been a crazy last two weeks with adding in the creative escape into the daily routine. And so I do try my best to make sure I log absolutely everybody, keep track of if you've placed an order, have you paid for it, did you not pay for it, can you make post-it notes, you guys. I really try. And so I was trying to, and it, and it happens that I will forget somebody from time to time. I'm not going to admit that I'm perfect on that. Hi, Brenda Lee. Um, hi, Sharon Land. Uh, hi, Debbie Peters. Um, but I wanted to preemptively try not to miss anybody because this texture sheet class is going to be my biggest class, I think, so far. I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm planning for 96. Okay, my biggest class is 88. 96 people to keep track of is a lot. <laughs> um, and I think I have about 84 people signed up or 82 signed up already. So there's not many spaces left. And before I overcommit, hi, Deanna Stell. Thank you for asking about the Zoom meeting that's tomorrow night. I sent an email out to everybody so that they have it. That was, thank you so much for reminding me that that information wasn't in there. Um, so I want to preemptively or proactively make sure I'm not missing anybody. So if you're watching this right now, it's Tuesday. This morning at like 1 a.m., I sent an email out to every online attendee saying, I have you signed up for class. Just know the kits are going to be mailed next week and almost everybody's paid. There are just a handful of people that haven't figured out, you know, and that's no problem, but just know I, I emailed you. So if you are signed up for the texture sheet, this is my call out, you guys. If you're signed up for the texture sheet card class, which is on the 25th, which is the online version, and you did not get an email from me in your, in your inbox or your spam box, right? Make sure you look in your spam folder. Please contact me because I want to make sure that I have you logged before I give away the last kit <laughs> because I don't enjoy doing that at all. <laughs> and I want to make sure you guys have your kits 
for class, okay? So just know that there were probably 57 or 56 people already emailed this morning. And I did that just, I, I didn't try to conf cause confusion or to make anybody think that they haven't paid for the class. It was just saying, I have you signed up, okay? All right, have fun and wine tasting, Mary Ellen. Okay, so that's my little note about the texture sheet class, you guys. Uh, the other thing too is, oh, um, I'm gonna show you guys the product shares while I have you look at some Happy Meal really quick. So give me a second, I'm gonna go get the product shares. What the? and ribbon yesterday. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. So you don't need anything tomorrow? You're good tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to set up. So maybe in the morning. Okay. Like, what time are you thinking? 930. <laughs> you guys say, hey, sorry, we're making dealings over here. Uh, so Tammy's been helping me get ready for the escape. And so she came and dropped stuff off and is putting stuff together, which is for the product share as well. Um, so um, we got, so what we're talking about is we got all the embellishments ready. We got all the ribbon ready. We got, so everybody who signs up for the escape basically gets a goodie bag and it's not a goodie bag in the sense that other demonstrators where you get one, like maybe like four full size packs of paper. No, your goodie bag is my product share basically. So the product share is a six by six sampling. Hi, Barb Johnson. Oh, you got the email. Good deal. Um, so it's a product share, basically. A $50 goodie bag includes a sampling of all the ribbon, a sampling of almost all the embellishments. It doesn't include some of those loosey, goosey, um, like the puff paint, or um, I think that was it, the puff paint, and the washi tape is not included. Um, but the papers, ribbons, and I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to show you guys the product share. So in case you're not signed up for the event and you want to get in on a product share with me, I wanted to show you what it kind of entails. And so this is, so I do three a la carte options. One is with paper. So you get one of each, a six by six of all, like lights a glow, the cottage gingham one, um, the, the, the one that has all the different holidays. And so even celebration paper. Hi, Gwen Prechashek. Hi, Beverly. And so you get a six by six piece of all those plus like the specialty, including the snowy white, the glitter paper. Um, you get that snowflake vellum. And then the white with the silver and gold from celebration glitter paper. You get note cards and envelopes. And so <clears throat> that is all the paper. And so if you're wondering like all the details on this, if you just go to my calendar of events for on um, the um, July 2nd, I believe, or July 1st, you can see all the details for the paper. And then for embellishments, um, Judy and will help me put these together. She rocked all the embellishments, you guys. So you get a sampling of all these embellishments. You'll get four of the bells, four of the sprigs, four of the trinkets with the leaves, and six of the holly berry leaves. You get some of the these maple leaves and then the snowflakes. And then you actually, so this is for the Summer Creative Escape. The, the, so the product shares that you get for the Summer Creative Escape are based off of keeping it to a $50 goodie bag. So everybody gets uh, half the amount of ribbon. But in the product share that you get, if you purchase the ribbon, you get um, two yards, uh, two yards, one yard, one yard, one yard, two 
one, two, and two. And if you do the product share via the goodie bag with the Summer Creative Escape, it's actually a little bit less because it's based on keeping it to $50. Hi, Linda Hall. So, and then that's the product share. So you guys wanted to, I wanted to show you what that's all about. Um, I do have... I do have product shares available. I got the first round pretty much ready to go. Actually, Tammy's just finishing it up right now. <laughs> She's putting the last uh, sets of ribbon in the bags. And then I will have um, what people previously ordered, like prior to going live with the catalog, I have those ready to go. Um, they'll be mailing out tomorrow. Going to get them out of here before the summer creative escape. And if you are interested in a product share with me, you can still sign up for it. I just probably will not mail it until sometime next week, probably when I mail out Texture Chic. So, because I can get the product ordered and then I will mail it out then when I have it. So, okay, so that's a little update on product shares, Summer Creative Escape, the Texture Chic class. Hmm, <laughs> before we get going on cards, I wanna show you guys some happy mail that I got. This one comes from Elaine Rebeck. This was her 4th of July card. And it's so funny in here, she said, let the loud noises begin. And so very cool. Love the I Love America stamp that she has on here. It says celebrate. Um, she must have found some pretty designer paper that has some hot air balloons on it. Um, this one comes from Deb Norman. This looks like a mystery card layout um, using one of my favorite leaf sets. Um, I'm trying to remember, this was Beauty of the Earth designer series paper, but this was a mystery card layout that we did um, I don't know, maybe six months ago, if I'm not mistaken, or even longer, it could be. Very pretty, Deb. This one comes from, let's see what it says. Cindy Rountree, woohoo, for the texture sheet class. Oh, Cindy, I am going to mail that out uh, next week is the plan. I read your email, got it, and I'm going to mail it out with your uh, texture chic card class. So you're going to get texture chic overload. Very pretty. I love the monochromatic. This, too, I feel like... Uh, was a nice mystery card layout. I feel like we put a designer paper on one side and had something going this way, but very nice with the black, or with the red and the white. Pretty, pretty. All right. This one's from um, uh, Beverly Smith. I love it. So she has um, a card. It's uh, store brought in. It's a Bagoin, and uh, it has thank you in all the different languages, but thank you is front and center. Thank you. <laughs> Mercy. Gracias. That one I know. <laughs> Thanks for that, Beverly. Uh, this one is from Elaine Carlton. Woohoo. Okay, so you guys, I remember this paper is about the time when I started doing card making classes. And I would have to guess it was back in 2015. I have no idea what the name was, but I love how she cut it diagonally and then used probably um, the opposite piece to make another card and then had the purple on the top and had the whitish one on the bottom. But I loved that little punch. I think that was a little punch. So, and then that looks like a punch too that we used to have. Very pretty, Elaine. Love the purple. All right, this card made me laugh. This is from Mo, I believe. <laughs> you guys are gonna chuckle too. So, <laughs> Mo, I'm gonna read your note. <laughs> I've been struggling with sentiments lately. Can anybody relate? That wasn't what she wrote, but <laughs> I mean, I bet you guys can relate with that. I've been struggling with sentiments lately, so you get a completely wordless card. If I don't use thick cardstock, she's been adding paper onto the back to dress it up and give it some weight. Okay, we hear you guys. Hi, Elaine Rebeck. This is my tip Tuesday for you guys. Holy Moses. Tip Mo, thank you for the tip. So <laughs> the tip here is if you don't use thick cardstock for your base, like because I, you guys know, will always use thick cardstock, either vanilla or white, if unless it's the colored cardstock. What she did here, here's the tip. She adds um, a back to it. So this is a regular white um, cardstock, and then she put a back. So look at that. It's got the front. You flip it over. You've got decoration on the back. The card feels a little thicker and sturdier, and you open up, and then she's got a flower very stellid on the inside. <laughs> so there's your tip, you guys. Um, and the guess, too, is the to make your card however you want it. It doesn't have to have words on it. <laughs> so very cool. I had to show you guys this envelope. Um, Pat Thomas, I think, sent me this envelope. I just thought it was super pretty, how it had all the little uh, flowers and the watering pots. Look at that. So pretty. So I did get that, Pat. And then this one comes from Pat Detlefson. Um, so Pat did the New Horizons here. Uh, that was one of my favorite pieces from that pack. Very cool. And put a little, I think, uh, it's like 
if I am not mistaken, Pat, this ribbon is from Celebration where we got a five pack combo and it had this green, it had a purple, it had a pink, it had an orange and it had a yellow. And everybody wanted that one and it went out fast. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. So very, very pretty, Pat. All right, so that is the Happy Meal that I have for you guys. So um, we're going to start now on showing you guys some swap cards. So the reminder I have for you guys is if you are seeing a card that you like, oh, there, shoot, I missed it. You take a screenshot and it will take a picture of the card. So we're going to, I have no method or madness or rhyme or reason for showing you these cards, you guys. I have a box here that I'm going to go through and then I have a box here as well. So if you guys like a card, you're seeing an idea, you just got to take a picture of it. And I'm going to try to call out um, in here where the, the suite is or where the stamp is if I can. But we're going to start with this group. Oh, and this is, oh, this might be easy. Let's start on the back end. Let's start with Celebration. <laughs> these are the Celebration cards, I believe. Yep, I'm pretty sure these are Celebration. So this is easy. So, you guys, it's Celebration. And um, <laughs> if you didn't see it last night, but we, ju we just did the drawing for board number one. Woohoo! Um, the board is over on the counter and it's almost full. I have three more squares open. I was hopeful that it would happen. I could do it on my live with you guys today because I'm not doing a live on Thursday night because of the escape. So when I get those last three squares full, I might just pop on with whoever I'm with and we'll do a quick Facebook live. But I'm three squares away from doing my second drawing, which is super awesome. So with a $50 purchase, you get a celebration item and your name on my board, which is for a drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Once I get five name, or 25 names, then I do that drawing. If you spend $100, there's other items that you can pick from, um, meaning $100 items, or you can pick two $50 items, and you get your name on the board twice. So for every $50 order, you get your name on. Hi, Bonnie. Thanks for sharing. So that's a little deal about celebration. So in the celebration, you can pick things like the hippos, okay? There's this ringed of rings of love paper, Pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes, stylish sketches, silver and gold designer paper, and then here you get to the hundred dollars. The, the for this item is with a hundred dollar purchase. Amazing phrases, tree lots, and this one is a combo of a stamp set and paper. Hi Francis, late again. We're just getting started, but go back and watch it from the beginning, Francis. When I get done, if you host a workshop that is at two or three hundred three hundred dollars, you get the perfect pomegranate. And then the sign-up special is getting this planner book thing um, for $99. And you can join me and the Be Happy Stampers. And then attend the Summer Creative Escape. <laughs> All right. So we'll categorize these. We got some hippo cards. We've got designer paper. Amazing. Wonderful world. Tree lots. Hippo. And tree lots. Okay. So let's start with this one. Um, Deb Norman made this beautiful card, and it features the wonderful world. Hi, Carla Lake. Um, it's got the stamp set and then the designer paper featured. She used the scalloped contours um, and then the stripes embossing folder in the back and sending sunshine to brighten your day. Very cool. Um, amazing. Oh, I don't remember the name of it. Amazing words. Amazing phrases. Amazing phrases. And I wanted to see... It looked kind of like a book card to me, but it's not. Oh, oh, okay. So great way to do designer paper. That is the front of it. And then you flip it over and there's the back. And what you do is you cut it short on the side here. Hi, Doral. Um, and then you attach the designer paper here. And look at that. It is a great way if you love both sides of the paper. Very cool. Okay, so that is a little poppy parade with pool party action going on. And this one is by Miss Kathy Miller. Okay, this one is, we've got some hippo cards. All right, this one is a fun fold by Wendy Lee. And 
lots of thanks. It's like a little spinner card. So when you have one of these like this, what you do is you, you set it up so that it goes in the envelope like this. And then when the person opens up the card, it spins around. So very cool. Wendy Lee, um, you're always on point. And I like how she has the sentiment there and then the on point there because the little girl's on point. <laughs> very cool, fun fold. And the next hippo card is from Carissa Albert. She did a belly band on here. So you got your hippo just hanging out in the tub. Oh, you're really the best. And then you slide the belly band off. And then it's like a gate fold. It goes like this. And we'll go like that. <laughs> um, she used the splatters embossing folder back here to make it look like water. So cool. All right. Put that guy back on. And then slides right over the top. This one is from Miss Lori Krause. She did the tree lots dies using some of that distressed gold paper. She also used some of the uh, silver and gold paper that's available in the celebration catalog for free with a $50 purchase. And then this one is from Judy Garza using that wonderful world. She did a little strip of designer paper here and then another strip here. Nice matching complimentary uh, designer paper. So you guys, I, I messaged out, emailed out this morning, I believe the mystery card night, um, clue number one. So in there, I wrote down that um, there's two different designer series papers or pattern papers, and they need to complement each other. So just as a hint or piece of advice, this is what I mean by complement each other. Like this purple, more solid one works great with this one. But the other thing that I did put in there is that one of them shouldn't really have an orientation to it, that it can go in any direction. And then this one wouldn't be the best because it's going up and down. And so it might be going sideways. Um, so we really need for that, those three and a half by three and a half squares for Mystery Card Night to be a non-directional pattern. Something like that would be perfect. But you want it to be two-sided. Okay. Here's a card from Jeanette Swain. She used a stitched rectangle and a stitched circle. Uh, some of that wonderful world designer paper. And then she stamped them in black with a little square background or rectangle background. Very cool. Here's another one from Sandy Carlson. Uh, she did, uh, what she did is she stamped this as one whole piece and then she cut them and then split them apart to make it look like a uh, painting on a wall kind of where you have three pieces for it. Um, time worn type embossing folder. All right. Yep, perfect. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Tammy. Exactly. Have a good day at work. Uh -huh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, and then she stamped, she must have stamped the for you before embossing it because otherwise it's too hard to stamp something after you've embossed it. All right, and last but certainly not least, you guys, this is my card. All right, so take note if you like this card. This is already made for the celebration hoorah rah card class, okay? So celebration, I'll tell you, grab out a calendar, oh, no, calendars aren't sitting by me. Um, something like the third week of August, celebration hoorah rah class is going to be all fall. I'm going to try to make them all fall at fun folds, you guys. So this one opens like this and it's one of those cards. It's just cool. It's still an eight and a half. Um, no, it's not. I don't remember. It's 10 and a half or 10 and three quarters long, but, um, those tree lot dies got some, <laughs> got a workout, you guys. So the trees, the little camper is a Dorbsy. I love it. So just note that this is one of the cards and all you really need to do with this card when taking this class from me is you need a sentiment at the top. That's it. So, okay. So that is what I have for celebration cards for you guys from that group. All right. So let's move stuff out of the way. All right, next group. Let's see what we have here. All right, so one of the groups is single stamp sets. And I'm not necessarily going to grab the catalog to show you because these um, are scattered throughout the entire catalog. Um, so single stamp sets, meaning they're not part of a bundle. 
They're not part of a suite, which is automatically part of a bundle. <laughs> and I honestly, I don't remember all the names of all these off the top of my head. But um, if you do know and you're watching, oh, Karen Wettstein, thank you so much. Um, Celebration Hoorah Rah is in person on August 22nd and August 19th. It's online. I believe August 19th is a Friday because I don't have any more Thursdays in August to give uh, uh, from my other classes. And then August 22nd, I believe, is a Monday. Um, and if you guys are watching while I'm showing these cards and um, I don't know the names and you guys know the names, you're more than welcome to help everybody out and put a name in here. I don't remember the name of the stamp set, but this card is from Miss Judy Garza. Uh, the white with, uh, with the starry night is so cool very cool and it's like what she did is she stamped this blue on gray we might just look up this stamp set really quick really quick um to see how that works let's see so stamps are here this stamp set over here peace to you i think is the name of this one 41 Okay, yes, it is. So Julie Poindexter, good morning. Um, this right here, where you see the dark, is what stamps. And then where, <laughs> peace to you, good job, Karen. Woohoo! Where it's white is where it's not stamping. And I love the effect here that stamped blue ink on the gray is what that is. So cool. Very cool colors. Uh, she used the... Um, Forever Fern Embossing Folder in the back. Adorbsy, yes. <laughs> Lorna, I stole that phrase from my friend. <clears throat> All right, this one is from Carissa Alberts. I had to take it out of the plastic because I know it is a fun fold, you guys. Look at that. See, that's a nice, easy, fun fold. Um, you can leave this. I'm going to save this for a mystery card night, you guys. For the you, you might uh, be seeing this layout in the future. So if you remember this moment, and you might have an idea of what the card looks like. This would be a phenomenal mystery card layout. I love it. Okay, so and it's all it is is scoring it at those different spots and having that layout like that. Very cool. Um, you've been good mostly this year, mostly. <laughs> so very cool. Carissa loves to color, so she did a great job coloring. I don't remember the name of the set off the top of my head, though. <laughs> um, this one is the Yeti set, which I don't know the official name either, but it says, get um, Yeti to party, it's your birthday. So it's definitely in the holiday catalog, but made it into a non christmasy card. This is Amanda Waldhart. She did this Yeti card and put a little ice cream cone in its hand. It has a little tag in the background here. Very cool. All right, here's your vintage Christmas card. Kathy Miller. Uh, that set, that vintage Christmas, it matches up with the bottle that's in the annual catalog and um, the punch matches. So very cool. This is Lights a Glow designer paper. This shimmery gold ribbon carried over from last holiday catalog. Um, so it was really cool. I wish they'd have it in silver too, <laughs> but can't get everything you want. Very pretty use of the flowers, timber, embossing folder in the background. I don't remember the name of this one either. Huh, I don't off the top of my head. It's the one with the sweater in it. It's towards the end. I bet I could find it really easily. This one's from Jeanette Swain using, it looks like Calypso Coral Coral and Bermuda Bay. This sweater guy is way, I feel like it's right at the bottom. Right there it is. It's called Forever Friendship. And so I do like the fonts on these, uh, but that's where that sweater comes. So here's for your ugly sweater um, contest cards, you guys, if you need to make an ugly sweater card for Christmas <laughs> and not have to wear it, but make it and put it on a card instead. Uh, so very cool. This one is from Miss Lori Krause. Soft Seedlings is the name of this one. That I do remember. The Rustic Harvest uh, paper is what she used. Um, some rustic metallic dots. Um, I like this layout a lot. Um, so it's one of those, I like, see, I would make this into a full card uh, versus cutting it off because when you open this up, you only have this little strip over here. So for me, when I would make this and case this card, I would make this a full panel here and then I would still put the designer paper on, but I just, this right here, the layout of this is awesome. I love the rustic 
harvest color, like that um, Cajun craze with the black. And then this is some ribbon from the annual catalog that she pulled in that has rose gold. And then the background here is, uh, I think, rose gold foil. Very pretty card, Lori. All right. The next one, I believe, is called Bewitching. <laughs> with um, um, Samantha from Bewitched <laughs> or Miranda. I <laughs> We had this conversation. <clears throat> I was referring to Bewitched Lady as Miranda, but we think it's Samantha. But either way, they're both from Sex and the City. So that's why it's confusing me. <laughs> Um, if you got it, haunt it, and that's embossed in white on black, which is cool. Um, some of that black and white paper here. Uh, the Parakeet Party Shimmer Ribbon and Parakeet Party. This card comes to us from Sandy Carlson. Very cool. All right, this one comes to us from Miss Sarah Simon. It's another one where um, it's cut off here, and then on the inside, it's you can write on the... Um, the left hand side, but you would see what everything on the right hand side. Parakeet Party mixed with real red. Uh, I don't remember the name of the set with this one. It's the one with some bigger words. And this is the tree set. Uh, real red ruffled mini ribbon. This one is mine. And if you are if with me in person for card buffet in October, this is going to be one of the card buffet cards. It's the pheasant stamp set. I don't remember the whole name. Perfectly pheasant or pheasant something. Um, embossed a pleasant little note in copper and then some lights that glow designer paper, some spr spritzing, some of the oh the brass dots here. <laughs> Having a hard time remembering. And then the new leave embossing folder in the background here. Um, use the ringed with nature dies here. And then some natural ribbon. And then one more, oh, two more here. Um, this one is called Lori Krauss. She did tree lots. And she has, I don't know where that, that must be that, um, that paper, the designer paper that is the festive one that has all the different, of a little tree string or um, a light string above the top. And it, <laughs> I love it, little paw prints that are going through the trees. <laughs> so cute. So that's tree lots. And then this one is from Jay Shante. Uh, she used the Distressed Gold and used that fabulous frames on the outside. Lights a glow paper here. And then some of the bows on the side with that really... I wish that... So I love this ribbon in the cream and the gold. I wish they had it in white and silver. Like, every time they offer something in gold, I want it in silver. Because I'm a silver fan. So, all right, you guys. Those are single stamp sets in the mini catalog. And then we had one person that missed, so there. That's why. So in case you're watching, that that's why I sometimes have two of mine in there. Okay. Water break, and then we'll do the next one. All right. All right. So these are bundles now. So when you, so that was the last one was just single stamp sets. Now this is bundles, and the bundles are when you have dies or a punch that coordinate, and those bundles are listed in the back of the catalog here. So that, those are all the different bundles, so that stuff we'll see through here. I don't think I had all of them, but I got most of them. And this little guy, if you recognize it, is my Perched in Nature. Uh, this is one of the Summer Creative Escape cards. It'll also be... I think this is one of the September cards for the monthly class. All right, Judy Bobo, I'll see you later. Um, so no matter the season, I am here for you. So there's that one. Um, the paper in the background here, that designer paper is from Bows of Holly. All right, this is Jennifer Merle Hampshire. <coughs> she did a fun fold, you guys, and went completely non-Christmassy, if you can see this. Um, and it's one of those cards that is like a step card where it kind of goes up and then down. Um, happy birthday. So she had the Penguin Place bundle and she completely went to make a qualify, a qualify, a koala bear <laughs> and did not do the penguin. But she, you, if you guys can see this, she used the bits and the parts from the, peng, uh, from the penguin punch to make a koala. And to the coolest friend ever added some 
foliage from Forever Flourishing. And then she's got the little guy holding a balloon. Isn't that cute? Old Olive and the, the different grays, uh, basic gray and smoky slate. So, nope, I'm sorry, gray granite. Very cool card, Jennifer. That will wait to put that back in. Okay. This one's Kathy Miller, and I think it's called All Spruced. Uh, nope. Doc, nope. Um, <laughs> um, it's, I think, decorated with happiness, if I'm not mistaken, on this one. Bows of Holly designer paper. She um, stamped some of those. And I was trying to look to see if it's embossed. She stamped some of the ornaments hanging from the sky, kind of, and then put some glitter or Stella around them. Christmas greetings. Use some brushed gold paper back there. Very cool, Kathy. This is the flurry one, maybe joyful flurry. Uh, there's like a new snowflake bundle in the catalog. She used some of the snowflake val velvet vellum paper. This is Sandra Hernandez. She used, oh, these dies. Oh, I'm trying to remember if they're from that set. I remember just seeing those yesterday. I can't remember where they're, what uh, bundle they're in. <laughs> You guys, I'm trying to remember everything and I can't remember it all. But the she has one of those snowflakes back there, those holographic snowflakes that carried over from last year. She splits some silver all over, very pretty. So, and some of those new adhesive backed uh, sequins. Not sequins, but they're the stars. This is Mistletoe Magic. That I know. This is Judy Garza. And she used some of that puff paint things or whatever the enamel thing. She made it look like there's berries on them. Very cool. The music notes embossing folder carried over and she embossed Merry Christmas in white and used some iridescent pearls on there and a nice red bow. Very cool. Okay, so this bow and this bow, the red and the green, they come as a combo pack um, in one like item. Now this is from Sandy Carlson. Now this is our book card. Very cute card using the gingerbread bundle. So it opens like that. From our home to yours. And wow, very cute. She she put a lot. She, she messaged me and she said she put a lot into her card. So she sure did. All these little guys are stamped and die cut and put together. And have a sweet Christmas. is It's so cool. This is a pretty card. I should do this for the card buffet. Oh, that would be really pretty. <laughs> or a three card class. I think I have the Chris, or this gingerbread on my list to do for a, a monthly class. All right. This is the Gathered Wheat. This is Sarah Simon. Um, now, this is a fun fold, too, you guys. Hi, Nanette. This one folds down. Oh, no, it goes like this. Oh, yes, like that. So that's our fun fold. You can see it from the side. Glamour shot here on the side. <laughs> so it stands up then. Sometimes I've seen the cards where people don't put them onto a card base, and so you just have this going up and then that. And then there's nothing for it to hold up to. But when you put the card on a base, it actually holds up like that. And here she's got the leaves all along the back. Super cool. The embossing folder. There it is. That's the leaves embossing folder. And it goes at a diagonal like that. The painted Christmas label in the back. You guys saw me using that for the texture sheet class this past Saturday. Very cool. Okay, next one is the hat punch, and then pulled in some feet. <laughs> uh, Lori Krause, um, some of the glimmer uh, washi tape. You get a, It's a four pack of four different colors with the washi tape, um, a stitched square. She used some black washi tape on the brim of the hat too, and very cool. That labels from the stylish shapes, and it says best witches. Like purple. Okay, here's my card again. We'll put that guy back down here. Hi, Patsy Roberts, while working. Oops. <laughs> All right, Christmas Scotty from Amanda Waldhart. So she stamped the Scotty in that stamp that is that crosshatch or whatever that pattern is, and then punched it out. Uh, scallop contours, gingham embossing folder in the background here. She pulled in the um, layering circles and the stitch circles. Very cool. Lots of layers going on here. And some of those rustic dots. Um, trying to remember the name. This is Jeanette Swain. I feel like I should remember the name of that bundle and I just never do. It is towards the back of the catalog. 
by the autumn stuff, but well, so there's the golden one there. Here, autumn bouquet dies. So autumn wishes, autumn bouquet dies. That's where this comes from. So she's got these little acorns are adorbsy. Oh my gosh. And so what she did is she cut the piece out in white and then she colored it with the different colors for the flowers and the leaves. This is the stripes embossing folder and a little linen thread bow. Happy thoughts of you. Very pretty card, Jeanette. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I've been seeing the rage all over, like of this type of card. Um, Wendy Lee did it. Uh, where you pull back the paper and you make it like a little scroll, kind of like your diploma thing. So I've been seeing this and I, I have my first sample, yay. So I don't think it's really hard to do. I think you just start the ripping and bring it back, but you want to emboss it and then bring it back. Oh, so very pretty. Like it's so elegant looking. It's the um, Simply Elegant Designer Foil Paper that's back here. And so then you open it up and that's what you see behind. It's so, so cool. So thanks Wendy Lee for that sample. This one is from Candy Michael. And it's uh, the thick white base with coastal, oh, pool party. Pool party with, it looks like petal pink. Uh, the lights aglow. Is that where that's from? I'm trying, I don't remember what everybody had off the top of my head. But that circle right there, that that's, looks like, if I'm not mistaken, it's lights a glow. Who can help me out here? I'm phoning a friend. No, it's not that. Okay. So it's Give It A Whirl dies. I think that might be the Give It A Whirl, but I'm trying to remember where the candle die cut comes from. Oh, I can't remember. Somebody will probably know. But if I'm not certain where something comes from, you guys, the first thing I do is come to the back of the catalog and I scroll through and I look to see if I can see it at a, a first glance if it's in here. I just... I was going to guess design a treat, but it's not there. Huh. Stop. I need... Oh, here it is. Celebrate with tags. That's what Candy had. Celebrations tags dies. You guys, there's some candles in here and it makes little tag. It's so cute. That's where the circle, oh my gosh, that's where the circle comes from and the heart. Okay, super cool. I just figured out I have the set. Now I can't wait to use it. So she made a non Christmassy card with that, which is awesome because you think, oh, the holiday catalog is only for holiday stuff. Well, here's your non holiday card. <laughs> Very cool. And then we have here Lori Krause with ringed with nature so she did that stumpy background with the embossing folder this is a hybrid where you actually can die cut so we did it here with this one we used it in the background and then the folder and dies cut out at the same time and so here she used the background and then pulled in a textural element and colored it brown with some cherry ba cherry balls <laughs> on it so there's that. And then here's this one. And this is Carissa's. Yep. It looks very similar to the um, the Summer Creative Escape card because we worked on them together. So that opens like that. And wishing you a wonderful season filled with all the good things that warm your heart and lift your spirit and put it on a tag. And there's our little cat. No, I'm just kidding. It's a fox. My mom kept calling it a cat. <laughs> all right. So... Those are bundles that were not part of sweets, okay? So now we go to bundles that are part of sweets. So, the sweets. I, I don't know if I remember the name so easily, but we'll go right here and then I'll have them. But it's time for a water break, you guys. <laughs> All right. So with this, there's going to be, I think... And we might have caught every sweet, but we might have missed one or two. These are from Carolyn Helmick, and she did the gnomes, the kindest. Oh, storybook gnomes is the sweet. Kindest gnomes is the name of the stamp set. So, very cute. You guys, I love the mushrooms. So, ooh, look at that. Very cool. She did a fun fold. So, if, I'll try to go from different angles so you can see what it looks like. 
Very cool. She took, she spent a lot of time on this. Because you got to cut that. You got to score that. Those mushrooms are adorable. Her little dude is so cute. Okay. You guys, I'm going to be the first to admit, I am not the biggest gnome person. I, I love the gnomes that I have in my hive because they were gifts to me. Um, <laughs> and I appreciate them very much. But I am not the first one to go out and buy things that are gnome related. <laughs> um, but that is cute. Super cute. Here's the little dude. And this looks like a fun fold as well. Let's see what this does. So it flips this way and it flips. Oh, it's a money holder. It's a gift card holder, you guys. You slide a gift card in there. Oh, she cut that from the designer paper and put that in there. So cool. That's nice. Very nice. <laughs> Good job, Carolyn. Now that makes me happy that I got the gnome set. Okay. See, two good samples. That's all it takes is for you to want to buy a set, right? <laughs> all right. This one is called A Bows of Holly. This came to you from Jay Shante. I feel like there's another one somewhere. Let's get the other one right away. That's it. All right. So let's open this one because it looks like it's a fun fold as well. Look at the colors on that one. The bows are very tedious, a lot of die cutting, but very pretty. Oh, look at what the tag is. Oh, that's so cool. Can you guys see that there's an outline here for that tag? Very cool. And then, oh yeah, just like that. Perfect. Oh, wow. Guys, this is so cool. Happy, happy. All right, so that's from Jay Shante. Yeah, the Santa Express. <laughs> That's cute. All right, here's another one from Jay. Love it. That natural ribbon. Uh, what she did with this ribbon, the brown, it's so thick. You cannot like roll the ends over. It will be too bulky. So she cut it right off at the ends and that's perfect because it doesn't fray. Peace, joy, love it. Very pretty. All right, Santa Express is here and Santa Express was done by Sandy Carlson. Gotta find the other one. Is it that one? Yep, okay. So these are some of the Santa Express layouts that Sandy did. So here she cut out the train and put it on. Here that designer paper got used, like two ties, like a strip on the side is really cool, kind of accents the middle frame. Very cool. Some of that new shimmery green ribbon, or um, the, the paper, very cool. Um, Sweetest Candy Canes was done by Amanda Waldhart. And so, it's very pretty. I, this set reminds me of cotton candy with the reds and the bobby blue, or pool parties and the pinks. Makes me want to eat the cards because <laughs> they're candy, right? So very pretty. I love all the layers, different bows on here. She used some of that uh, Baker's Twine that was with the Sweet Sorbet. Very cool. Little scallop contour dye action going on. So pretty there. Um, then we had the Gingham Cottage was by Bonnie Schmitz. And so she's got scallop contour. You guys, you don't own these scallop contour dies. You better get on, <laughs> get on the boat. They are used so many times. They're so awesome. Um, some of that glimmer paper here. She stamped right on the glimmer paper. Some red rhinestones for the holly berries. We can't forget that we have those red rhinestones. It's really cool. Here's what the die cut looks like with that cottage wreath. And then there's also a bow and some sprigs that come out. Very cool. Embossed with a leaf background on this one. Oh, super cool. So that's the gingham cottage. And then we have here Lights A Glow. Lights A Glow by Carissa. Oh yeah, look at these guys. So this one's a pocket card where that slips out just like that. Um, and then she used this glimmer paper. There's a die that cuts all those little baby holes out. I don't remember. Oh, it's probably from the lights of glow. That's in the lights of glow. The tree comes from the lights of glow. Uh, here she's got a cool snowflake in the center. Use some of that vanilla ribbon uh, with that. The paper's awesome. So this is a specialty paper. You get It's got like gold foil in it. Very pretty. Oh, look at that die. That is part of that die set too. That long skinny background. And then you just cut a little white strip and put that right in the middle. Festive pearls are so cool. 
Oh, yes, they are. So mine are these two. So just a heads up, the it's not this one per se, but um, I worked ahead on ink, paper, scissors for September because I had this suite. This, these are the two cards I made. Uh, so this is the Splendid Day Suite. And so this will be one of the cards for, this is definitely one of the cards for ink, paper, scissors. All you need to have is a sentiment. Everything else, oh, this one, this is stamped back here, but that's part of the stamp set. And then this one, um, I did this card and uh, for the swap, I only used a slip of paper going this way, but for the actual class, I made the card go this way and I used this green paper along the whole back and then just changed everything to orient that way, but similar card. So these are from Splendid Thoughts. Yeah, these cards are fabulous. Love them, love them. So you guys, we got through one box. Okay, I don't know what time is it. We're into it an hour. So um, we're gonna grab the other box and show you some more cards. I'm gonna make sure I get these guys moved away. So they don't end up all over my floor. Okay. Very, very cool. And I, oh, they're so pretty. All right. So now what do we have here? We have another group of bundles. So there's two groups of bundles, not bundles. These are sweets. So um, there were so many people that I, that were, that were signed up that we had to create two groups, which is awesome. So these are the same sweets, just different people making cards. So these are from Miss Sarah Simon, and she had the Boughs of Holly. So these were her two cards that she made. This is another one of those fun folds where it flips up. Oh, no! This is like mystery card night. Yay! That's pretty. That is just so spot on. It's so pretty. Makes it look like it should be hung on the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's like a mystery card layout that we did. Hi, Shireen from South Africa. Thanks for joining us. All right. So those are Sarah Simons. This is Bonnie Schmitz. She had um, Lights Aglow. Oh, yeah. Here it is. All right. So these are some of the products that come in the Lights Aglow. I think that's the name. Yeah, Lights Aglow. Uh, so use some of that glimmery gold with the die cut. Look at that label. Oh, so cool. There's some good labels in that die set. I can't wait to start playing with that one. I really haven't used this one yet. And then use some of the uh, brushed metallic paper. Do you see that label? That circle label is part of this suite of products too. Very cool. So that's Bonnie Schmitz. Uh, cottage wreath was Lori Krause. Oh, look at this. She did a Halloween wreath. And then she did like a spring kind of wreath. Very cool. So this one's got the spiders on it. So this cottage wreath is for all seasons. It's got all different holidays going on in it. Very cool. So that's Lori Krause. And then the gnomes are from Sandra Hernandez. Look at these guys. Oh, oh my goodness, Sandra, she did it. So Sandra does the cross stitching. She stitched. Look at that. She sewed on this card. I love it. So she put a little strip of designer paper on the side here. And then she ran a sewing machine, if I had to guess, up and down there. She did. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I think that's like one of the first. I love it. I love it. Okay. Deckled rectangles around the edges. Look at that little baby label. Some of the little dots are coming. Uh, they come with this week. Thank you. Hi, Vicki. Yes, yeah, so many gorgeous cards. Okay, then this is Sandra's other one with the little gnome house. I love it. Oh, she put the puffy paint. That new puffy paint is in here. Is I don't know if it's in this suite, but in the catalog, they brought it back. Oh, he... She put puffy paint on his eyebrows to make him look like he's got big, bushy white eyebrows. <laughs> Little snowflake in the back there, too. All right. So we have Splendid Thoughts by Jeanette Swain. This one had those little trinkets in it, those spring trinkets. Trinkets. 
little bees in there, you guys. There's a little stamp with a bee, yay. Little hearts are in there. I'm not sure what the hearts come from there, but the little that little foliage piece comes in here. That the paper is the foil. This is uh, this was a set that demonstrators could get early by a whole month. Yeah, very cool. And that ribbon's part of the suite. All right, candy cane time. We have Sandy Carlson. Wow, she used that dye, you guys. This dye is part of that candy cane set. And I've seen it where you die cut it twice and you put one this way and then you flip it upside down and you put it the other way and it looks super cool. But she used some of that red glimmer paper on here and ran that through the ribbon through. That little thing is actually to put the candy canes through, like real candy canes. So very cool. Christmas cheer. And then this one is from... Carissa Alberts. So she had Santa Express. So these were her cards. <laughs> this has that iridescent trim that is so chunky and thick and it leaves little particles. You, yeah. I haven't decided if I love it or not. <laughs> so <coughs> still working on that. Uh, the little iridescent um, stars are part of this suite of products too. She used uh, one of the new embossing folders back here that has like a village looking thing behind it. Oh, there's a fly. Get out of here. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Uh, so yeah, very cool cards. And this Merry Christmas, that is actually part of the Memories and More card pack, which is cool that she used that. And then mine, you guys, so heads up, these two cards are for two of the four cards for the Rustic Harvest class that I have coming up in September. So the sweet class that I featured uh, in September is Rustic Harvest, and these are two of the cards that you guys will make for that class. So these were my swap cards, but whenever I do swap cards, they are fully intended to be class cards, because if I'm going to make a card, it's going to have dual purpose, swap and class card. I should say, if I'm going to make swap cards, they're going to be used in classes. So these, are, all you need for this one is a sentiment, and here a sentiment, and then some sort of something for in your circle if you're online, because you, or having the pumpkin would be awesome. So, yay! Okay, so those are for Rustic Harvest. All right, you guys, we're getting down to the end. What's left is this right here. These are the Crema de la Crema. If you don't know what that means, it means the cream of the crop. <laughs> I learned that expression when I lived down in Miami. I worked down there, and they said Crema de la Crema. Crema de la crema, cream of the crop. So this is the sweet swap that I've been doing for probably four years. And everybody picks a sweet and they use almost everything from the sweet if they possibly can. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, but generally it does. And you have to make four cards. <laughs> so these pe people in this sweet swap have been the same people um, for probably three or four years with me, which is awesome. So we know each other's styles, we know what we like, and we go all out on these cards because we know that is what everybody in this group does. So it's a very small group, and uh, I'm gonna roll through these two to show you. So Miss Sarah Simon, and you guys, I have to take this one out because it looks like it is a gatefold, kind of. So it opens like, oh yeah. Rule is, you have to, yes, Christina is bilingual. I try, uh, un poquito. <laughs> um, the rule is you have to decorate the inside too, like to match the outside. I mean, the, the swapping, the, the swaps that I sign up to be in, you guys, it, it's full blown cards. Basically how I stamp is what, what they are like, right? So we go all out because we know that's, um, oh, I love it. There's a little, flower right here. I'm like, why is the card not opening? Well, so that's holding it down. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So we know what to expect from each other on this, stuff, this swap, you guys. So that's why you're going to see some pretty awesome and amazing cards continued here. All right. So look at that. A little green pumpkin. That die is so cool because it actually die cuts and it puts that texture in it. So that's that one. And then Here's a little white embossing on a um, oval. And then these are the classic matte dots that got pulled in from the annual catalog timber embossing folder. Very pretty. This is some of the annual catalog ribbon that goes with the Happy Forest Friends. 
So very pretty, Sarah. You did a great job. Very nice. Okay, these are from Sandy Carlson. She had lights aglow. So very glittery background with that floral frames. Embossing some gold on a little circle, that stylish shapes circle. That is the designer paper. It actually is four sections and it makes little frames. There's that die. I love that die. The little three circles on each side and the stitching all the way around. Anything stitched is awesome. So here's the tree with some festive pearls on it. And then there's another one with the strips of designer series paper. Some of that gold and vanilla ribbon. That die is awesome. So those are Sandy Carlson's. And Santa Express was done by, let's see here, Carissa. So, oh yeah, we'll have to pull this open here so we can see this. It's a, oh, cool. Look at that. Okay, so the gatefold, but then what she did is she cut some strips of designer paper and added them. And then it makes it like you're using just two small strips, but it completes the mat. Very cool. A little of that ribbon coming out. Some of those little adhesive backs, sequin, uh, stars. All right. Good job. Oh, this is one of those twist and pull kind of cards. Ha <laughs> ha Chris is doing so good with ribbon. Look at that. She's got it going like the lamb technique on the side here. And then... That opens this way, and that opens like a twist one. Very cool. Very cool. All right. This is another one of those note cards from the, the Memories and More card pack. So I shouldn't say it's a note card. It's one of the small mats from the card pack. And then here she stamped the train. Woo, colored that. Oh, my goodness. She used the snowflake embossing folder and put some white over it. Very cool. Very cool. So that's Santa Express for you guys. All right. This is from, I believe, Kathy Miller. Let's take the tape off. All right. She had the sweetest Christmas with the candy canes. So put the little candy canes on a tag. Very cool. And then, ah, oh, I love it. So that die is, if you are enjoying the look of that, that is that die from that set. And some ribbon run back and forth. Here's one. Oh, I like these kind of cards because you use small pieces of designer series paper and you just put little small chunks and make up a card. Very cool. And that's part of the banners. <coughs> and this last one. Again, it reminds me of, I want to eat the card because <laughs> it looks like, like that. The colors look like candy like to me. And this is one of those that folds. It goes up and it goes down. I love this layout. I've done it a time or two with you guys. All right, so that's the sweetest candy. This one is Boughs of Holly by Lori Krause. Oh, she colored the gingham ribbon, you guys. That's black and white normally. And she colored it and it really adds a lot when it's colored. Very cool. All right, Penny Powell, a little box with a check inside should get to me by Friday. Perfect. I'll be watching for it. And speaking of a little box, I have something else to share with you guys. I got to remember to do this. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Billy, I got to remember. So I had one more happy mail, you guys. I got this box in the mail. I got to share this with you guys when we're done too. So back to this was Lori. Um, okay, so the white frayed ribbon got added into this one, which complements it very nicely. Uh, Christmas wishes. Here she colored that little textural element again. Love it. And then peace and joy. Some of the green, the um, soft succulent satin ribbon. Very cool. Got added in here. And then here's some of the distressed gold from the texture sheet class. 
You guys, I'm loving that label. I didn't know it did that. Super cool. So like I would glue it this flat and then you pop that up. So awesome. So this is the Holly Bows one from Lori Krause. Our gnomes. <laughs> the gnomes were done by uh, Katherine Anderson. So here she colored our little dude. And this looks like some of the designer paper in the background. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. Very cute. Very manly-esque <laughs> with all the browns. That, that paper on the bottom is from He's All That. Very cool to incorporate that in. Um, fern and bass, bossing folder back here. You know me so well. Uh, little guy here with some vellum. And then I don't remember where the green designer paper comes from. That could be from the gnomes. I just don't know it yet. Um, this one is, that's definitely the gnome paper here. He's colored cute. Um, it's so cute. I love the layout. Um, and this is another one where you cut the, the piece off and then it's a little bit shorter. So you don't want to write over on the white part. So cute. There's like blue stamping on there to make it look like snow falling. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he looks like a burly-esque kind of a little gnome. <laughs> okay, so that that paper right here is from that celebration paper, I think, with the black, with the yellow stars, the festive paper. Very cute. He's like this little gnome by his house. And so she cut, that's the designer paper, you guys. So that gets cut right out. So you guys, I this is inspiring me because I have a gnome ink, paper, scissors class coming up. Um... I think it's in October, maybe. Oh, and I need inspiration with the gnomes. <laughs> I'm curious, how many of you guys would take the gnome ink, paper, scissors class? Uh, do I have a lot of gnome lovers out there? All right, so we have here Splendid Thoughts. It's right here, done by Jeanette Swain. So that was one of those that we could get early. Um, uh, I think like in a pre-order special because we did a Creativity Now event. And so some of us had this material a little bit. Oh, Penny Powell would do the gnomes. Yay. Okay, so there's one. Here's Sending Hugs. So this one had that soft seafoam ribbon in it and that foil paper, which is so pretty. That Sending Hugs comes from this set. This label in the background, that actually comes from He's the Man. There's another one. See that label? So cool. Um, I actually use it on one of my cards that's coming up. Um, time worn type embossing folder. And then she's got the leaves coming down. And then that trinket is also part here. So she cut out some of the labels and did a little collection of all the different foils. Uh, she tied a little trinket onto here. So uh, that is one of the embossing folders in the annual catalog. So cool. All right, so that was Jeanette Swain with Splendid Thoughts. You guys, we have three more. So we had Lights of Glow got, um, was a super sweet. So we had two people do that one. And so this one is, who is this? Oh, Jay Shante. We better open this one up. It looks like a fun fold. I know, so many cards, you guys. So Tip Tuesday was on steroids today. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. So she double layered that up. I felt it thick. Okay, so that die it cuts out circles. So she put glimmer paper behind it, but then to decorate it up, she added some designer paper on the back to clean it up really nice. So cool. Very pretty. Very glitzy. All right, so there's that one. Oh, look at that. So this is Jay as well. She's got some uh, squares back there, but looks like diamonds because they're that way. And it, <laughs> it actually looks like it's a tree on a tree skirt to me. So she used some of the green glimmer paper to do the tree there. All right. So then we've got the tree embossed in gold and then die cut out. That label is in that shimmery, it's like white, but it's more vanilla. It's like a creamy white uh, glitter paper that comes with the green. Uh, paper's cool. She embossed some stars uh, along the edge there. <clears throat> and then here, last but not least for hers, that tag, I love that tag, you guys. Oh my gosh. These, that die cut and that die cut are gonna, I gotta use those a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> now I know where they're from, the lights of glow. And then some big snowflakes back there. Some festive pearls, pulled in some evergreen ribbon from the open weave. Very cool. Oh, Karen would do the gnomes as well. Okay, very cool. 
All right, so this one is from Candy Michael. Candy had the cottage wreaths. So she's got her four cards here. All right, so cool. Very soft and soothing. So you've got this one that is kind of Christmassy because it's got that on here, but it's kind of a non-traditional Christmassy. Tags can be used all year long. Yes, they sure can. This one then she bowled in the yellow. So here she's got like a gray with a pink. And then she did gray with the so saffron and put the little wreath in the background. Timber embossing folder. Nice. I love all the little die cuts. And she did a Halloweeny one. The picture this, I think dies where you've got your different circles. Oh, Angela would do gnomes too. Very cool. Uh, so that's the Halloweeny. And then we've got one that's, oh, oh you guys, we got to pull this out here. I see something different. Look, 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 look. I'm going to do it. What is it? Oh, I know what it is. It's a flapper card. Okay. So I got to hold on to it the right way. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I did this for a fun folds class three years ago, maybe. Two, three years ago for a holiday, it had a deer on the front. Nature's print. And now it had a deer on the front. And then you open it up and you found a fox underneath. I love it. It's like a pull tab. Very cool. Love it. All right. So the last is mine. And this is the uh, first time you're seeing this. And it's an upcoming class, you guys. What I'm about to show you, stay tuned. Um, Unusual but nice, yes. <laughs> um, this, what I'm going to show you is actually for the catalog launch party, you guys. This suite, I had the celebration. And so, um, my, so I didn't have a suite per se, but I picked celebration. And then I always use these cards as my catalog launch party. So the catalog launch party is the first week of August. And you can start setting up anytime now. Um, when I show you the cards, you're going to be like, whoa. It is a fun folds class meets celebration meets catalog launch party. Woohoo! Okay, we're going to flip down. I'm going to save my favorite for last. Okay, so let's do these. All right, so all featuring celebration product, all fun folds. This is the happiest hippos, you guys. So you've got your hippo in the middle. Um, Kathy Jackson has been asking how to do this kind of a column, like layout cutting. And I thought it was time to pull this in. Um, I found this card to do it. So Kathy, I think this is what you were asking about how you cut through layers, multiple layers, and then you, it opens like that. And then this guy opens like that. And it uses the hippos. It uses the note cards and envelopes. I cut them down and put the outside and then the white piece on the inside. So yay, we got our hippo card here. That's one card. Oh, let me put these guys back. Oh, hang on. All right. Hippo card. Then tree lots, you guys. The tree lots dies. So Wendy Lee gave me the assist on this one. I had screenshotted a picture of one of her cards many moons ago. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to use it for this one. And so this is card two of celebration catalog launch party. Uh, so you got your tree lots dies. All you guys need is a sentiment on this card and something up in the inside. But watch this. That opens up and it's like a little pop up fun fold. So yes, you guys, this is card number two and you can make your card pretty much be identical to mine with the help of a sentiment and maybe a tree in the bottom corner. So there's card number two, you guys. All right. Number three, <clears throat> hint, 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 in case anybody needs help with the mystery card, understanding the clues, <laughs> I'm not giving away too much, I hope, but this is card number three for, I got to get this on here so you guys can see it, for the catalog launch party. I was talking to you guys about the he's all that dies. That's where that comes into play. Uh, so this is your card number three for the celebration catalog launch party. Another fun folds. Randy Schultz gave me a card not too long ago. I don't know. It's less than six months ago. I kept it aside because I was like, I'm casing this card. So you guys, this designer series paper is the wonderful world, I think, uh, from the celebration. 
you just need a sentiment, honestly. This is actually, everybody will get different flowers because that paper has numerous little baby flowers, all colors. And so you'll get a little piece that you'll have to die cut and you'll have a little belly band and then it opens like this and a little bit like that. Boom. <laughs> all right. So I gave you enough hints for the mystery card, <clears throat> but that is card number three. All right. Julie Poindexter, go to July 18th on my calendar of events. I do a mystery card night. So you have to go to cardsbycrispy.com. Go to July 18th. You know, click on events. Go to July 18th. You will see clue number one for my mystery card night. All right, you guys. Last card for, for celebration catalog launch party is using the ringed with love and ringed with nature. Yeah, Randy, I loved it. So you guys, this is your last card for that class. And it opens like this. Oh my gosh. So I case Sandra Hernandez's card and that she had given me recently. So boom, you guys, you need something to stamp on your little white piece. And honestly, you guys, a sentiment for here. So all of that stuff is provided your little trink. Oh, you'll need a marker to color your sprigs if you want them red. Um, but yeah. So, all right, so did you guys take this all in? It is time to sign up for the catalog launch party <laughs> celebration card class, knowing that you guys will have these four awesome fun folds, okay? So, and the reason I'm calling this out is because this class is, <laughs> let's look at this calendar, you guys. Oh my goodness. So the class, if I'm not mistaken, in person is August 3rd. And then online is, I think, August 4th. And so they need to get mailed out the 28th, which is um, not next week, but the week after. And I need to like start prepping this stuff, you guys. So uh, it would be good to have a good idea of how many people want to take this class because Anna will be helping me with die cutting. Rhonda will be helping me. And there's there's just a little bit to do. So um just make sure you guys get signed up. So I'm glad I saved this one for last so I can give you guys a little sneaky peek. So this isn't even photographed. This class isn't photographed. These just got made last week. Um, I'll get a cover photo ready and I will be um, sharing. Uh, I'll create a Facebook event. I'll also have it on my website. All the details are on my website already. The cover photo is just not there. Okay. So Penny, yes, I'd love to get you signed up. So I don't know if you've sent your check yet or not, but you could <laughs> you could add to it if you haven't. Um, so this class that I just showed you guys, the Fun Fold Celebration Catalog Launch Party class is um, $18 or $23 mailed, or it is um, in person, it's a $30 order, or for porch pickup, a $30 order. Otherwise mailed, it's a $45 order. So making sure that you use the host code. So, oh, you guys, we did it. We made it through every holiday swap card that I have for now. So the next swap that I have coming up that my team does, uh, the Be Happy Stampers, is the Holiday Catalog Launch Party, which is August 7th. And so once I get those cards, I will be sharing those with you as well. Oh, yes. Hang on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot. Thank you, Patty. It was sitting right in front of my face, and I almost forgot. So I need to share something with you guys. Um, so Mitzi, uh, not Mitzi, so, sorry, um, Philly Sinto. I had uh, Mitzi in my head for some reason. Uh, so Philly wanted to thank me. <laughs> you guys, I try. This is so sweet. So she thanked me for the entertaining lives. And I hope you don't mind I'm sharing that. You guys, I do try to entertain you. I do try to make you laugh. I try to bring sunshine to your day. Even with a stuffy face, <laughs> I try to make you laugh. So um, I appreciate that. And so she saw this and she thought of me. So Philly, thank you so much. I'm going to share with everybody what you, you sent to me. I, I greatly appreciate your generosity. Um, I had a beautiful card with the shells on the side and it says, thank you. And she saw this and she thought of me and it is a scarf. You guys, it is a beautiful, um, scarf. I'm going to open up without, Oh, right here. Sorry for all the crinkly, crinkly nisses. <laughs> But I'm going to take the scarf out. It is, I was thinking it was going to be super, super soft. And it really is. And it has all these beautiful gold bees on it. And they match my shoes, you guys. I'm going to share with you my shoes. Hang on. 
<laughs> so for, for, for Christmas, the team got together and gave me a bunch of things. And so Kelly picked these out. These are, uh, there are some shoes that are Tom's and they say be kind in them and they have gold bees on them and they match, they match my scarf. So I love it, Philly. Thank you so much. It is so warm. I'm going to leave it in here with me, of course, because it's a hive gift and it's a perfect thing that if I'm cold in here, I can just put this on. And if I do any kind of a vendor, you know, I can wear it. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. So Thank you for that, Philly. I really appreciate it. You guys are so good to me. I try to be good to you, and you're good to me. And together, that makes for a great thing, right? When we're good to each other. <laughs> so, all right. So, it's 11.30. I have um, a couple gals coming. This Oh, you know what I have, actually? The Summer Creative Escape had swaps that were part of the event. And I have boxes all over the floor over there full of all the different people that are swapping. And... So after the event, you guys, I will have another swap card showcase for you with those cards. So yay. So I'll have plenty more swap cards to show you guys. Um, so I've got a couple gals coming and we're going to sort through those swap cards and get them all swapped out this afternoon. That's the plan. And then we're going to get stuff set up in the garage tonight to get like all the tables ready. So the hive is going to be transformed into a... Uh, uh, a Mecca shrine of stamping uh, creativity craziness this weekend for all of our stamping buddies. <laughs> so, um, black blanket behind you. Oh yes, Luann, I showed that earlier in the um, the, the, the the presentation today. Um, that was a little enticer for those people um, who are not sure about signing up for the summer creative escape. It is a blanket and it is what is the attendance gift for those that are attending. And so everybody who's already signed up for the event will know that that was a spoiler alert that you get that. I have four to six spots left uh, for the summer creative escape in case anybody wants to sign up. The blanket's part of the deal. Woohoo! <laughs> so, uh, thanks, Linda Hall. I do feel much better. Um, the hive is buzzing. Yes, Anne, that is a good word for it. The hive is buzzing. <laughs> so, very, very cool. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a pro. I try to, I try to do my best, you guys. That's all I can ever do. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I think on that note, you guys can watch for Kelly. She came in yesterday, and she tipped uh, Technique Thursday. Um, so that'll air on Thursday morning. And just a reminder too, if you came in late and you missed the beginning of the live, I know it's an hour and a half, but I did go through a bunch of things at the beginning that if you want to go back and check it out, I would appreciate it. Um, then you can uh, maybe get some answers, questions if you have them. Questions answered if you have them. Um, so uh, the other thing too is I know that sometimes people are new to me because that happens and I really am thankful for that. I have new followers. And so you don't always know how things work or operate with me. Um, just know that one of the main things you could do is sign up for my emails uh, through my newsletter link on my website. So going to cardsbycrispy.com. If you sign up for my newsletter, you can unsubscribe at any time by just clicking that button. But I always send emails about the mystery card night that somebody just asked about. The email went out at 7 a.m. this morning. I had it scheduled. Um, I also give you guys updates. I haven't written the newsletter yet, okay? It's been a little bit crazy hectic, and with this thing going on over the last few days, I've not been on my A game. I've been on my A minus game. <laughs> I should say I wasn't on my A plus game. I was on my A minus game. And so my goal is to have the newsletter written before the escape starts. That is a goal. Definitely going to try to make that happen. Um, it might be not as be as beefy as it usually is, but um, if you sign up for my newsletters, you also get included on all my upcoming classes. Uh, like I talked about the product share this morning. I believe I have four DSP samplers left for the holiday mini catalog in case you guys missed out. Four, just four. So those will be gone pretty soon, I'm guessing. Um, so in those product share DSP sampler information, you guys can find that all on my calendar events under July 1st, I believe. So woohoo. Okay, I need to come up for air, guys. I need to take a deep breath. I think I need to blow my nose really bad <laughs> and um, get some lunch before my, my helper bees come in here. So it was great being with you today. Um, it was nice to feel a lot better <laughs> while I was doing the live with you. And I, I hope that you guys got some inspiration, some uh, creativity juices flowing with um, seeing some of those cards. I know all that product is out of the new mini catalog. Maybe it inspired you to see, oh man, oh, 
And, uh, I like that set, but now I really love that set. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it, <laughs> which would be awesome. Or it might be like, oh, I have something very similar, but now I just saw a new card idea and I should go grab that, that oldie but goodie set and use it. So ultimately I want you guys stamping and crafting and creating. So, all right. I'm going to go sign out. <laughs> Lots of love and hugs to you guys. Enjoy your Tuesday. Um, I will not see you as a reminder live on Thursday, but I'll see Karen in person in the flesh on Thursday. I'll see a bunch of you throughout the whole four days. I think I have about 48 people coming through um, each of the days. And then we'll be seeing all the online people via the Facebook live. So excited. So it's going to be good, you guys. All right. We'll see you. Have a good rest of your week. Love you so much. Bye.